Hello everyone and welcome to Rise of Industry and a short series where we're going to be checking out this game. Now Rise of Industry is developed by Dapper Penguin Studios and what a fine name for a development studio that is. I must congratulate them on choosing an amazing name, on winning the name lottery frankly. And it's also published by Casino Games that many of you will recognise from uh, games such as Project High Rise. Now Rise of Industry is... Well, in a nutshell, it is a combination of kind of transportation tycoon and industry giant brought forward to the sort of modern era of gaming. So you have all the mod cons and quality of life changes that you really expect from games at this point. Now, this game is currently in alpha. It's in pre early access it should be in early access around january next year that is 2018 and as of right now it is available to purchase from their website you can buy into the pre-alpha uh, sorry the pre-early access and also have a have a, a hand in trying to support the developers and also uh, shape the game going forward with your feedback now we're gonna jump straight into a game because as i've often said it's certainly uh I, in my opinion better to show rather than to describe so first it's going to generate a um procedurally generated map each map is different and we're currently in alpha 2 on the the developers uh website they have a very detailed roadmap with dates and estimations of when they're going to hit each milestone on the roadmap early access on steam will be alpha 5 so we're not actually that far away now it was only in one of the recent alphas that things like even being able to save the game was properly implemented so understand that we are fairly early in the development process but i wouldn't be showing this game if i didn't think there was enough game there to show and that i wasn't already having fun fun with what is there i am however a little bit biased because i'm a massive fan of industry giant and transportation tycoon in fact i still play ta transportation tycoon when i can industry giant unfortunately not really playable on modern machines without uh, various forms of wizardry and also occasional sacrifices uh right now we've got a couple of small towns and one or two that look a little bit more interesting like Kirkby Gree. Now this looks like a very nice town and the the towns will grow over time depending on uh, how you interact with them whether they're making money and can afford to expand. Now, if you click on any particular town, you'll find out the population, what industries are there. They currently have uh, a grape orchard, two grape orchards, okay. I expect, yes, a liquor store and a grocery are present. We can also purchase things ourselves from the towns. We can possibly even purchase things from the industries themselves if that has been implemented. Uh, no coming soon. Analysis, you can get all kinds of information. There's, there'll be a lot of placeholder stuff. Um, currently, textures, and whole models are changing uh, on a reasonably re uh, frequent basis as the developers are adding more industries and more systems into the game. Now, going back to Kirkby, let's have a look at your shops. Here we can see you've got a grocery shop and a liquor store. The grocery shop particularly wants cakes, uh, pies and cakes, and they'll pay 125% of the, the normal price for those. They also want raw fish grapes understandably and apples uh, there's a liquor store as well I imagine there's gonna be wine here yep yeah. and uh, barley whiskey and beer and cider are wanted as well you can see supply and demand for for the various shops uh, if we have a look over here with uh, you also have some grapes so let's see if you also require yes and actually you really want grapes you also want eggs meat and fish so you've, you've got a, a, a nice little market there a, a fresh fish and uh, meat market very very wonderful no no tinned fish there what about you no fresh fish as well i approve you have got hamburgers and you want oranges and milk as well but not too many other um industries around here right now and that's something that we can hopefully help out now are there any fish in these lakes because if there are then that's going to be a very easy first industry for us no there are not however you're not too far from the coast and there's plenty of fish along the coastline but the coast is it's a little bit further away frankly a little bit further away and we might want to uh, focus on some easier industries close by now kirkby what else did you want? Eh, grapes, pies, and cakes. We can we can do that. We can make an apple orchard. They don't they don't um, carry much um, money though. Generally, it would be better to look for a 
not just like we gather grapes or we can turn them into wine the wine is going to be worth a lot more however brewing things takes a few different industries because you're probably also going to need the wood to make the barrels to then um, prepare the wine in so mm, i'm going to steer clear of that one for now uh livestock was probably one of the better ones because we could also get pies and cakes because they're all kind of the industries that play into each other and over here we wanted let me just check again they did want meat and eggs which is fantastic and what about you in hutton in hutton you wanted milk okay that's fantastic the only thing that we would not be using of a cow is its hide but we don't just need to sell to the towns and the shops in the towns we can also sell externally on the uh, state level now right where would we like to set this up uh, we've got a couple of little places over there honestly given that uh, it's going to be kind of spread between all three of these towns i think we're going to set up a little area for ourselves over here now currently there aren't a great array of different road types you can build and there are more plants so we're gonna pop down just a basic road there there are trains though and trains are fantastic because they can shift a lot of cargo very very quickly now as i mentioned we want to set up a a livestock farm if we click up here actually we can bring up the recipes book uh, and early on when you're just getting used to the game i strongly recommend you check this out before you start building anything for example livestock farm we want meat so meat you can get it from um sheeps for example uh, a sheep field where you'll get meat and you'll get wool uh, milk we'd also get meat from a cow milk from a cow and leather from the cow and both of these need water and and wheat to start with uh, if we wanted to go for uh, further and actually make for example hamburgers then we'd need dough and we'd need meat and dough would be out of wheat and water or maybe pies and cakes which would require dough milk and eggs so we would also need chickens uh, it gets very complicated very quickly but i love that kind of depth but let's start things out fairly simple shall we now most of the towns will have a wholesaler and the wholesaler will generally sell water you can almost always get water out of a town um however depending on the produce the town is making with its own industries you might be able to buy other things like for example you could buy grapes there not very frequently though because other places in the town are already buying them um it's not too bad of an idea generally to purchase water for example water there at 62 i believe there is a place where we can find the price of water where would i find that product prices there we are um so components uh no raw resources there we go it's 50 so we'd be uh, actually we'd be paying um an extra 20 percent on that mm. now we can get our own water but it's costly so you have to start making decisions are you going to buy from wholesalers or are you going to try and go with your own we've started with the princely sum down here so we can probably afford to do it ourselves uh right now the livestock farm is going to require two things wheat and water so let's start with wheat uh, and i quite like actually building my facilities a little bit off from the road so that i have some further options later on if i want to move anything around now we've built a farm here and you notice uh, an exclamation mark it's because we haven't actually built any fields we do need to add those so we can build a field and for example we could place one there these don't need to be attached to roads at all now with one field we are we will be producing um grain fairly quickly we'll be producing wheat uh, but first we've got to get some water over there and for the time being um just just for the sake of showing it let's actually set up a delivery uh so we're going to go to the wholesale oh, we've got three trucks available here i can purchase more trucks if i wanted more but i think we should be fine i would like you to bring me water to this crop farm go ahead three trucks so each one comes out i have to purchase the truck initially so it's 250 that that purchase price won't happen again but uh they picked up the water you may have noticed that it was also saying i was paying 63 for each one and they will now ferry it across to my wheat field now just to keep things a little bit easier for me uh we're gonna call this let's rename you you shall be with wheat farm 
there we go now unfortunately each industry each building can only really produce one thing even though i could change the crop to something else if i if i wanted to um there's hops and there's cotton i can only have one field uh, one um, product being produced here no matter how many fields i made for it but as you can see we are now producing wheat which is wonderful however that's not nearly fast enough for, for what i want there we go we've popped in a second one now instead of just increasing the speed of the first bar it'll actually give you a second bar entirely for the second field now that makes me wonder if perhaps there are certain areas which are better so as you place your fields down certain fields will just outperform others and likewise if it was a fishing pier a certain fishing boat will be, just be in a better spot and will get more fish maybe it's beside two um fish uh, schools of fish instead of one and your other fish bolt is is off uh, you know at the other side of the uh, the coast just gathering from one and so there'll be asynchronous gathering i'm hopeful for that i haven't noticed it yet but currently we're producing a little bit of wheat and that'll be uh, being piled up in the storage now eventually we won't have enough room for any more water so they'll they'll stop gathering that i can happily say no i don't want all of those trucks so just give, give me one give me one truck to bring water at that kind of rate but realistically with two farms i actually do need more than that um so yeah we'll have two and we'll just see it might be a long enough of a trip because a, a truck can only carry one unit of something but next up we want our livestock farm and similarly we are going to want to pop this somewhere nearby uh, about here i would say it gives us enough room for everything else we we're going to want to do and we'll just drag that up there we go now then the livestock is currently set to chicken so the very first thing we want to do is change that we want beefs in production here thank you very much she uh sheep chicken or cows uh, they all produce different things and you might want them for different for different situations the chicken for example just produce meat and eggs and those are probably very easy to um sell there will almost always be somewhere like a grocery will generally want meat and eggs not always each town's grocery will have a different kind of demand and i'm assuming that they are selling all of this stuff they're just getting it from somewhere else now we're going to need wheat and we are going to need water so uh let's change this one to oops i can't see the name of the town anymore there we go with cow farm there we are perfect right so i would like the with wheat farm to send and sure it doesn't matter if this is the only place that's going to be using wheat right now i would like you to take it to the with cow farm there we go so once again purchasing the vans and off they go laden with wheat we'll eventually have more places that need wheat so i am going to need all of those vans but the other van that i purchased over here that was producing water we can now make use of by sending it to the cow farm there we go now that will leave with some water now likewise with the wheat farm we actually need to create fields so let's find a nice spot for these fields and i think there and hmm, sure we'll have two cow fields there we go we probably are going to need a little bit more water but i'm not going to send more than we've currently got at the moment because ultimately i would like to uh, generate our own um, water because we're going to be using it a lot i imagine in this little area now to refresh my memory let's see meat and eggs actually a chicken farm would have been fantastic for you but i've got plans i want to make pies eventually uh over here we've got milk requirements and hamburgers Ooh, hamburgers are nice they cost a lot uh okay and what about kirkby because ultimately i want to trade with as many places as i can because very similar to uh transportation tycoon i've noticed the towns grow over time and i believe that that is prompted by there being economic activity in the town they're either buying things or getting to sell things to people things are moving around so the town prospers and starts to expand and you want that to happen because as they expand they gain more um, businesses which then are available for you to sell to 
so at the moment we are producing items over here though probably only one um field is active at any particular time and it takes a while for the uh, water truck to get by we're slowly building up a storage of wheat now if we go over to destination we've got three things being produced here so let's set this one for the meat this one for the milk and this one for the leather now, if I had a particularly um, prosperous farm, I might need lots of different trucks working on each one. I'm going to put one truck for each thing for now, though. So, as far as meat goes, we've got a couple of places we can send, uh, send to. Now, I particularly would like to send to one of the towns. So, yeah, sure, we're going to sell to Wyth, since uh, Wyth is our, is our patron, is our sponsor. Not really, they, they, they're not paying us any money, but I like to imagine that since we've built them so close that uh, we, we have close ties. Uh, the milk, however, we've only got Hutton that will take the milk, so let's send the milk there. And finally, we have nowhere that will just buy the leather however the state will always purchase items it just won't be very much money in fact let's uh, bring up that price list again so leather 1800 that's actually not too bad all things sold but it would be much better if we turned that into some sort of textile uh, similarly 1350 for buying um meat hmm. and how much are you buying it for let me just have a quick look. 1,350. I guess it's the same in there. Um, yeah, okay. So there, there's not particularly much of a change there. Some places will will want stuff for, for more and they'll offer a, a much better price, but we'll see. Uh, and the unfortunate thing about state trade is it's very far away. So whereas the, the trucks are only having to take 44 tiles to deliver the meat to with, the, that's, we're going to make twice as many runs um, in about the same amount of time as sending the milk to Hutton. However, to send to the state is 197 tiles. Our truck is going to be on a very long journey and eventually our stockpile is going to fill up with, with leather. That is not a good thing. Um, so you can counteract that, for example, um, by buying more trucks. Though at the moment, we're really not producing nearly enough. We need a lot more water. So let's have a look at uh, setting that up now that we actually have some money flowing into the coffers. Not a lot, mind you, but as long as we're not building things, it's not terrible. Now, to get water, we're going to need a gatherer and specifically a water siphon. However, we're very fortunate in that the, the little bank of water here is big enough to support one. Uh, that being said, I'm not seeing many places I would be able to pop the actual gatherers themselves. I think it would be better down here because there's more um, flat coast for us to build on. So we're going to pop that down there. Now, much like the cow, uh, sorry, the farm and the um, uh, wheat farm, we need harvesters. So we've got no production right now. We can build a harvester. And this has to be built on a coast with water access. Oh, we can actually build them there. Oh, it would have actually been better for us to have built up there. Then I didn't realize we could build them on angles. That's my fault. Uh, however, that being said, this is actually quite convenient because the trucks, with this one, a truck will leave this building once water has been produced and deliver it to the main building. So that's actually quite quite close and uh, that's very convenient for us but as you can see water is produced slowly so we're gonna want a few more harvesters I fancy we can have another water one here and I think we probably should yep and we'll draw this connection here there we go the first container of water is being sent down to the main plant um, looking at how fast we're producing water and considering everything needs water right now that we're producing we're gonna need a lot more than that so let's just bring open all of these and we can see how quickly these produce yeah we're gonna need a lot more water than that so i'm gonna say we probably need one per um consumer right now maybe one besides as well because i think we're gonna be slightly short uh, so what we can do over here, you can rotate with Q&E, which is quite nice. I actually really like the, the sort of simplistic aesthetic that they've gone for with uh, the design of the buildings here. I, I happen to like low poly, uh, more artistic um, designs rather than photorealistic. There we go. That'll be brilliant. We'll be bringing in a lot of water now. So let's just hook these up and they can all connect over there. 
So there we are. This building will be producing a rather neat little sum of water for us. And now we can run a road all the way out here to connect up. And because I know at least quite a, at least a fair bit of the water is going to be going there anyway, may as well make that little uh, little turn there just to uh, speed things up for us. Right, so water siphon one. No, no, no. But this is definitely nearer to Kirkby. So this will be Kirkby siphon. There we go. Perfect. Right. Now, let me just make sure. Ah, no, it wasn't a Y. Ah, there we are. There we go. I always have to check dyslexia, you know, it's, it's one of these things. Uh, right. Now, we're going to want two destinations. Uh, I, I kind of want two trucks for each. So I'm going to buy an extra truck straight out of the gate here. One is going to go to with Wheat Farm and the other will go to with Cow Farm. We could sell water to the state as well, but I can't imagine we get much money for that. Yeah, fifty fifty dollars. That's that's really not enough. But at this stage, we can quite happily cancel our trades with we with uh, with. We don't need water there anymore. Do you actually sell anything else? No, it's just occasional uh, grapes. We could now sell the vans since they're not doing anything, and it's probably quite likely. Uh, did we actually get much money back from that? I'm not sure. Uh, did we vehicle sales? No, no, we didn't. Uh, I think we just wasted money because if we ever do want to trade with with again That's gonna cost us a little bit. Thankfully though. We deliver with our own van So now that we've got a decent amount of water moving through we should actually be okay um, We've got two farms there two farms here, and we are actually selling pretty much everything we've got What I would like to do now though because overall we're gonna be producing all three of these at exactly the same pace as you can see we've got um, two extra milk and twice as much leather than milk and so we're, we're, we're selling them um, asynchronously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give an extra van to the milk run and well just to make sure that we don't end up getting too much of a stockpile and then clogging up our logistics we'll put two extra vans selling the leather to the state so there we go we've got a neat little industry running here next up now there are a couple of other places that wouldn't mind some meat ultimately uh we've got uh no you want hamburgers you wanted uh meat and eggs and we also had kirkby i believe uh, wanted oh no you didn't want me to ah, in fact it, the easier way for me to check so just going here and see how many places would buy it uh there are two there's bottle and where on earth is bottle and it's not down there oh wow oh wow really it's all the way over here <laughs> i don't think so i'm really sorry but that's not going to be happening i'm afraid let's have a look at you though what kind of shops do you have and what do you you want eggs as well hmm well, it isn't to say that uh, with wouldn't be able to meet the uh, amount of meat that we could send it. Though supply is starting to, to fill up, so we'll eventually saturate that supply. And then at the month change, I assume the uh, supply is reset or it goes down as we saw just then. So maybe having a chicken farm here wouldn't be the best idea because we would oversaturate the uh, meat sales. But if we have a look at some of the other things we can make. Now, food factory is where you want to look for anything like pies and cakes. We need eggs for that, milk as well, and dough. Now, dough requires wheat and water. Uh, hamburgers requires dough and meat. So what we could do, we'd need an extra wheat field to satisfy the, uh, to feed the chickens. We could then use um the meat from the, the the eggs could be sold directly the meat from the chickens however and an extra field of wheat to make some dough could be turned into hamburgers i know they're, they're chicken burgers don't don't think about it too hard or maybe we could just sell the meat from the chickens to the yeah okay we'll do it that way just because my brain will melt a little bit because it should be a chicken burger not a hamburger uh, mind you why is it a hamburger when, uh, it's a beef burger why do i why do we call them hamburgers what a strange thought they're not made of pig, so why are they called? Oh my lord, my mind is being blown. My 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 
grasp on reality is failing me. I'm going to stop thinking about that before I have I have a panic attack. Right, let's see. Now, we want a new livestock farm. And because I'm not going to be a horrible neighbor, I'm going to put it over here. Uh, though this one, I think, yeah, let's, uh, let's actually have it rotated around this way. Uh, that would be quite nice. And also, this would allow it to be very close to the source of water, which is grand. So let's just hook that up there. Now then, we are going to need... Ooh, what's happening here? Let's have a look at these. So many issues. Hub disabled. No storage space. Ah, it is full of water. Oh my lord! It made 36 units last month. I really expected you to be using more. This made 12 units last month. And this made 12 units. So, yeah, we need a lot more water to be moving, which is just as well. So, this one will also be a with farm. So, with chicken farm. There we go. And I would like water being delivered there right away, please. And thank you. And uh, set that farm up to with chicken farm. And likewise, two trucks. There we go. Realistically, I could improve things. In fact, I will. I'll buy three more trucks and I'll have a little bit more water being moved because we're not stocking these places up with water we're, we're basically giving them just about enough water to to work whereas we could give them a lot more this one doesn't have any water so clearly there's a bit of a problem there now then we want I'm going to say only one chicken farm for now but we might change our mind later on we can only place them within this area but from what i understand must be built in owner range oh can i not ah i thought that i could uh build them as long as they were within like the uh, some of the tile was within that range but no apparently not apparently not well uh even though it's not your farm i think you're gonna have a chicken farm over there and you are also going to have one. Oh, no, we'll just have one chicken farm for now. It doesn't matter how close it is. They, it still functions fine. All right. Okay. So we are producing two things. We'll be producing meat and we'll be producing eggs. So let's go ahead and sell this directly to with Dorkum. Where's Dorkum? I think, yeah, that's a little bit too far. If we do want to trade with these places, we'll set up a train station. And actually, that might be a good reason to set up a train station. All things said and done. So we're going to be uh, stockpiling water really very quickly here. Because we are not going to be using it nearly fast enough. But we already have some money going to be coming in. Now then, the next step, we are going to need wheat, obviously. So next, we want to set up to chicken farm. There we are. I'm going to reduce your trucks and buy an extra one so that we've got two going to the chicken, two going to uh, the cow farm. Eventually, well, actually, that being said, we'll probably only need one. But we'll uh, increase it. We'll see how it goes for now. But we are going to need an extra field. That much is clear. Ooh, that was a chicken farm. Well, drag. Okay, okay. After some shenanigans with placing the farms, we've got all of the farms in the right place. Uh, how are we doing with the uh, storage of wheat here? We've got a lot of wheat there, actually, an awful lot. Uh, yeah, we don't need that much wheat. Let's uh, make sure that there's plenty in the chicken farm. I think that will be fine. Uh, so they should start producing fairly soon and be getting those out there. Uh, furthermore, I would like your meat to be going to... With. Send some of your meat to With. It's, it's absolutely fine. Um, and in fact, what we could do here is the meat here could be sent instead to, well, no, Bollard and it's just too far away. Way too far away. For now, they'll just get fresh chicken and fresh beef. Okay, so the next step in our setup, we want a food factory. We'll have the dough going about here, I think. And then another food factory. Rotate it around to go right there. There we go. Perfect. That is going to look grand. Now we'll just have these hooked up like that. Okay, so we want to make dough here. We've got 20, 25 million. We can afford a couple of setbacks for the sake of aesthetics. Damn it. Uh, though <laughs> it does rot my brain a little bit that they're slightly offset because they're an even number in the road. Ah, I am so finicky with some things. 
However, let's get this one set up for hamburgers. Now, this will be um, with hamburger. No, beef burger. <laughs> There we go. And this one shall be with dough. Perfect. Right, we're going to need water and wheat for this one. So we need yet another field added up here. So let's get that one in position. Now you're going to start running out of water. Yeah, you already have. How are we doing for water storage here? We've got loads. We've got absolutely loads. The farm needs a lot more. In fact, I'm going to say it needs a whole three more. Let, oop, wrong one. Let's make sure the wheat farm's getting six trucks delivering to it. That should keep us going for the time being, I would say. How's the chicken farm doing in storage? Quite a lot of water. A uh, decent amount of wheat as well. Over here. Yeah, everything is going quite well, I would say. Uh, we, we could afford to get more of our produce out, though, than we're currently doing. All right, now, you need to send to one of my factories. And mm, for this one, I think you'll get equal amounts. Though each produce, I generally speaking, gathering is a lot faster than producing the end product. So you'll need to balance the amount of trucks you're using based on how quickly facilities are, are, are making things now you're going to need water there and unfortunately we no longer have any potential over here to deliver that water we've already got the three um the three trucks now later on we will be able to build warehouses they're not currently in but that would allow for example this place to just send to the warehouse uh, or maybe two warehouses and then have those warehouses sending elsewhere and so we will be able to have more branches along the logistics but because i only need just a tiny bit of water here we are actually gonna go back and buy things one bit oh it's come a cropper of my earlier compulsion to sell the trucks there we go uh buy three trucks i guess uh actually just two there we go <laughs> such a waste of money i've lost so much money to being a derp so far however once that arrives then i want the dough sent straight over to with hamburgers and all three trucks can be working on that you almost certainly won't be producing it fast enough to make use of three trucks and you will be selling to hutton there we go that is going to be grand because that will actually command quite the price but we're going to need some meat going there so let's head in here and our meat is actually going to be changing. We're going to be sending that to With Beef Burgers. Sorry, sorry, With. I know you wanted the delicious, delicious beefs, but you're going to have to... Well, actually, you're not going to get the, the beef burgers either. They're going to be going to Hutton. I'm sorry for my blatant favoritism, but they will pay me more for what I'm making. And I need money. Oh, my Lord, I need money. That being said, let's actually check on the shops. How is the supply going? Oh, it's not too terribly bad, I would say. How about down here in Kirkby? Uh, Kirkby. Mm, not too terribly bad. And Hutton. And we're not really selling anything in Kirkby. Might, oh, you've actually hit your supply. That's a bit of a bit of a problem. All we're sending there is milk. Hmm. I may have to look into that one. What can you take off my hands, Kirkby? Uh, you would take pies. We can definitely make pies. Yep, that would require the eggs, though. And I'm not against doing that, though we could just add an extra um, extra feel for that. But let's actually have a look at the, st the storage of my uh, facilities. Yeah, you're moving. All of your wheat is getting moved. As for you, meat is just kind of stockpiling there. That isn't good. That is not good. So, uh, why is that? Ah, because I am a fool. That is why I did not set you up correctly. So, eggs were no problem with three. And I can only assume that with two on on meat as well, that'll, that'll be okay. What about our farm here? I'm so sorry for all the inefficiencies here. I will get better, I promise. Uh, yeah, the leather is just stockpiling. But we knew it would. We knew it would. Uh, let's... 
we need more. We need a lot more. Uh, I'm going to buy an extra one for the leather. We need to get that gone. Uh, in terms of milk, I would say it's because they don't want any more. But that being said, it's a long trip, so I'll buy an extra one for that. However, with beef, let me just have a look at what we're storing. You've got everything you need, and how long does it take you to produce? Uh, you need two wheat. Ah, okay, so you don't have everything you need yet. However, you... You're currently awaiting... Well, you've only got one beef there. So, let's go back to the with cow farm. I'm going to buy... Yeah, we'll buy another two. We'll get that many moving out there. But it's clear to me that we are actually in need of an extra um, farm. And with that, we're going to need... I'm going to say an extra two. We want to move that dough quickly. There we go. Right, how are we doing for water storage? Well, we're still doing fine. But we've added a lot more to our wheat farm now. Uh, we seem to be doing okay. Production seems to be going right. We produced 20 units last month. Uh, over here, 8 units last month. 21 units? Wow, okay, that's not bad at all. You've got a massive stockpile of wheat. 2 units. And this one will... Well, no, actually, you only had... You produced four, but you're not producing them monthly. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, that's fine. We should see things getting a little bit better, I should imagine. We can zoom right in and actually see things there, which is pretty cool. Okay, we made 63,000 last year. Our building upkeep is near enough that, which is not good. Not good at all. We're also purchasing some water. Uh, how much water do you have? You have enough water, I would say, for everything you need. Let's hope that the extra um, wheat there will mean that we're going to be able to get these beef burgers moving out a little bit better. There we go, being produced. That's good to see. And you have no extra dough. I might need an extra wheat farm, honestly, to support this. And that would also allow me to expand my um, livestock farms as well. But at that point, we are definitely going to need another water siphon uh very well that one's n well we could build a water siphon over here now that i know how it works if there's enough room we might even be able to get one there yeah they're full again though it is a bit of a shame uh maybe i could actually move more uh let's see there's plenty of water there i don't think we're hurting for water anyway what we could do, given that, then, is actually get rid of one of these and cut down our expenses slightly. Sure, we'll get rid of one. There we go. That We'll see how that plays out over time. But as we can see, the uh, proceeds from the hamburgers are really starting to add up at this point. And so far, we've actually made quite a nice profit. I mean, <laughs> a far cry from the amount of money we've spent on setting all of this up. But there's plenty of room for improvement here i think extending the wheat farm by having another wheat farm also service this area would be a good idea and we're starting to run a little bit shy of room so perhaps if we built a road down here that might be a good move uh, it's a little ways from from everything but i think that should be okay so near enough uh, let's go ahead and build a new crop farm there we are and pop that one in there perfect and once again now we are going to need let's see you've got plenty of wheat and surprisingly you do too i'm i'm genuinely surprised by that one uh you're starting to stockpile the wheat maybe we don't really need this but we we do want to expand and the moment we start expanding our farms we're going to need extra fields that's just the way that that works uh i'll build two for now we won't go uh two over the top this can be called yeah we'll call this one that not that we'll call this one kirkby there we go i think that will be fine and i would like your primary destination to be the dough factory but i suppose we could deliver to our other farms as well uh, yeah, go there, and this one can go to the cow farm. We are going to want the majority 
of the wheat produced here though to be going to the dough farm and then we'll just have an extra two vans one to each facility if they can take the overflow that should be fine but at this stage we definitely want a water siphon a new one so let's go ahead and pop that down now will we find anywhere with enough Ooh, there that's the only place hmm. That is, a, that is a shame. Actually, no, it's not terribly bad. We could possibly fit one in there. No. No, we need it to be a little bit closer for that. We could move that field, actually. Uh, sure, let's add the field then on this side and get rid of that field there. Uh, there we are. And instead, we can pop this down right there. And I think that'll be grand. Uh, as for our requirements, I think two will probably be more than enough for what we're going to be doing. So let's just get these up there. Oh, that's a little bit too high, actually. My bad. Let's uh, delete those. There we are. And then we'll continue the road along here just a little bit and then connect up there. All right, perfect. Now then, this one shall be renamed with water siphon. Or just with water. It makes sense. There, there aren't any other water fact, uh, production facilities, so uh, may as well change these names completely. There we go. And with water will primarily be delivering to... Well, we'll set up a couple of destinations, actually. But primarily, I would like you to be delete, uh, delivering to, uh, where are we? Kirkby Wheat Farm. The second destination will be the factory with dough. And I guess we could have, well, I don't think we actually need anywhere else. So we'll just set that up for now. We may deliver to, to some of the farms in the future, but at that point, yes, we no longer need need the, the the trucks this time though i'm not gonna sell them because i've learned my lesson damn it okay now this is looking good we've got 25 beefs here and dough every now and then so if we have a look here last month's production was five units that is an awful lot of hamburgers i approve enormously in fact and let's actually have a look at uh, with dough only four units there so, with the extra wheat being sent up, it does seem that water is now our shortage there. So, given that, how are we doing here? Eight units last month, that's not terribly bad. I'm going to buy another two um, trucks and have them sending up to Withdo. We, the, but beef uh, burgers are our, our mainstay, really, at the moment. That, that's, that's our cash crop, if you like. Now... The f next thing we can do is if we can increase uh, with dough enough, we could look at setting up a another food factory because right now milk is stockpiling quite nastily. I'll be perfectly honest, uh, quite nastily. And so I would very much like to change that. Now, if we have this facility built right there, there we go. And this shall be changed to producing pies and cakes. So we've got with dough, and this shall be with pies and cakes. There we are, perfect. This one actually is with with burgers, with dough, with pies, good. Are these actually in, in with? Because I, I just noticed it actually tells you where it is. Yes, yes it is. I'm going to assume this is... Yeah, Kirkby. Ah, oh, fantastic. I did get them right. Uh, this one's... Oh! Oh! That's rude. I'm going to have to change it. Um, okay. But how are we going to tell them apart? We need a way to tell them about South. With Wheat Farm South. The original With Wheat Farm, in, in honor of the fact that it was the first, the progenitor of all the With Farms, or at least all of the Wheat Farms in With shall remain with wheat farm but you shall be with wheat farm south now then we've got with pies and cakes and we are going to need a delivery of dough milk and in fact eggs marvelous say i now what we're going to do is we're going to stop 
delivering um, milk to Hutton. Sorry, Hutton, but it's going to be better this way. We're going to deliver this instead to With Pies and Cakes. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. It's also going to be a lot faster because they, the trucks don't have to travel nearly as far. In fact, I might want to reduce the amount uh, that they, they uh, of trucks I've got on this because of that. Otherwise, they're just going to very quickly fill this place up. So the milk should be going over there. And we now want eggs to be doing much the same. However, given that we've only got two pro uh, products here, we don't actually need to completely stop it. Instead, I would like you to take the eggs. Uh, let me just make sure. Because I hadn't selected the product that I wanted to ship, it gave me destinations that would accept any of the products that we have. So it's always best to set that up first. Now I'm going to leave you with one, but I would like two to be available to take the eggs to our pie and cake factory. And at this point, I think we need an extra chicken field. There we go, that can go up back. Now, have you got enough wheat and water? Yeah, you've got plenty. You should be perfectly fine. We should have plenty of stuff moving over here. So the only thing we're going to be lacking soon is the dough itself. Now, how are we doing in here? Production-wise, we're still lacking the water. It's the only thing that we're lacking. But I would like you to now also deliver two with pies and cakes. And I'm going to say deliver it equally. There we go. But we definitely need more water. Uh, let's have a look. Have you got... You've got nothing there. That is a shame. Okay, well, it's time for us to increase the amount of water that you're gathering then. Uh, we're not going to go all out right away. We'll first build this one um, extra harvest and we'll see how that affects everything. Ooh, we've got a warning. Transport problem destination is lacking storage slot on one. Ah, yes. One of the places you're trying to send to no long can no longer store wheat. That is probably, yeah. We're just not using it up fast enough. And at this point, it's because we don't have enough fields. We've got enough water to use it. We just can't make it quickly enough. Uh, we'll have a, a look at that in a moment. But are we actually producing? All we need now is the dough. As long as one of uh, the, some dough comes down here, we can actually see that being delivered. There's plenty of wheat being delivered. Do you have the water? No, it'll be the wheat that's stockpiling, not the water. That is a tad bit of a shame. A tad bit of a shame. Uh, let's see, how's storage? Uh, it's not actually going that well, I think. We're actually going to go all in on the harvesters then. Let's go ahead, set that up. Plump. Well, I say all in. We'll build an extra one. We can build another one besides, but uh, at the moment it seems okay. How are you doing? Are you actually delivering to dough as well? No, you're only delivering to the uh, farms and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Perhaps another thing I could do is reduce what I'm sending out to the farms because realistically they don't really need it. Um, mm, this farm does though, realistically speaking, because it's the only place delivering to it. But perhaps it just doesn't need as much being delivered there. Uh, let's see. Have you got the dough? You, you, you stop adding the milk crazy fast. Maybe we need an extra place producing dough. But uh, clearly it's the water that it's the that's the main problem here. Well, we've got a crate full of water coming up. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let's drop that off. There we go. Ah, fantastic. We're actually making pies and cakes. I approve of the pies and cakes. There we go. Our money is... Well, it's not great. But... I'm going to let a little bit of time move forward. You can actually speed time up. And we're just going to let a couple of ticks go by and see how we uh, we deal in terms of our profits versus our expenses. There we go. We are in the green, finally, or in the black, as the saying goes. We are sending pies and cakes down to Kirkby. We are sending hamburgers up to Hutton. 
we are not sending well much anywhere else but with is still growing apparently i'm very glad about that with maybe it's the economic um activity of these um industries which are within the boundaries of your city let's actually check out your shops then you've got a tailor in here who might actually well we could possibly start setting them up with some textiles that would be an interesting one how's hutton doing over here Hutton is generally doing well. It could still enjoy some milk, though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what about Kirkby Gree? Uh, you've got a liquor store. Uh, currently, you're only enjoying pies and cakes, but you are actually paying a premium for the pies and cakes, which is actually quite nice. In terms of... Well, we'd need apples for that, but uh, you also do want apples so maybe that could be another industry that we look into currently the new month has started we are right we're already back in the black we made a decent amount of money um last month i mean it's only half of the money that uh, we made ended up as actual profits but still that's that's not a bad place to be for us i think we're doing quite well now we could always tweak around and see if we could uh, send more of our produce elsewhere for example here we're just stockpiling massive amounts of um of uh leather mm, where do you send your the the leather supply so they go off the map down here because these would be map connections with the state yeah that looks like the only one i see i see you know what we could vastly improve that situation if we built a train station nearby to move all of the uh the leather off the map quickly mm. I think we might want to do that. But I think that'll be something that we can look into in the next episode. So in this one, we have started uh, nurturing three medium-sized towns. We have built quite a lot of industries, two wheat farms. So the, the second has quite a lot of room to grow. We've got livestock in the form of chickens and cattle. And we are making beef burgers, not hamburgers, beef burgers, and also pies and cakes. Mostly beef pies also um not making any beef cakes at I, I don't think we're making any beef cakes we might be uh but that is it from me i do hope you've enjoyed the episode so far and looking forward to the next feedback as always is welcome in the comment section down below and in particular i would actually be interested to know whether you like these kinds of games if you've played similar games in the past perhaps you too have played transportation tycoon do let me know but uh, that's going to be it from me so until next time and as always do take care everyone